back to the weather watch and a beautiful shot from our camera in Rosemont tonight. Yeah, beautiful shot there. But what is ahead, Mary Kay? Wintry mix? It that is, year. yes. And especially if you live close to the Wisconsin state line or especially north of I-88, that's going to be the focus for this wintry mix tomorrow. Meantime, we enjoyed sunshine today, but temperatures really struggled. Our high so far was only 40, and we're standing at 36 degrees. The sun went down at 441. So lights, no chances after midnight. Better chance toward morning. The timing really is going to be 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. to see any accumulation. And the location of the snow would be north of I-80, especially as you get closer to Rockford and to Kenosha County. Those areas could see one to two inches. I'm thinking an inch or less of slushy accumulation from Morris to Joliet, maybe even into the city. But as you head north, that is a better chance to see some light accumulation. And again, after 9 a.m., it all moves out of the picture. So we're in the 30s, except for Gary. You're at 41 degrees. We have 33 in DeKalb, 35 right now in Ottawa, and we have a clear sky. But notice the cloud deck sneaking in across the Quad Cities. That will be ours as we move through the night. So clouds are going to move in first, and then in the early morning hours, we're going to turn on those snow showers, especially after about 2 or 3 in the morning, lasting through the morning rush. Then late in the day, as temperatures reach into the 40s, we're going to see any precipitation change over to rain. So we have to look at the temperature profile. When this moves in right before 5 o'clock, it'll be mainly light snow because the readings will be close to 30 degrees. And see how everything is favored to the north. So snow showers at O'Hare at 7 a.m., Waukegan, and a lot of the accumulation is going to be in southern Wisconsin. And then in the afternoon, as the system pushes through, we'll have rain showers because temperatures by that time will be in the mid and upper 40s, and that part of the system moves out. So what we expect to see is that light snow swath really setting up here over southern Wisconsin in the morning, but we could be brushed with this again, mainly north of I-88. Backside of this leaves us a little bit of precip and even into Thursday morning, it could be cold enough for a little light snow before dry high pressure moves in and that starts to clear everything out for us. So as far as the mounts go from both parts of that system, Madison, Milwaukee, far more impressive totals, but around Chicago, it looks like minor amounts from this and it's just going to be enough to slicken up the roadways, I think, for the morning rush, Brad Nerka, especially closer to the Wisconsin state line.